Hey guys, it's your girl, Nothing's Impossible, 77 straight out of Brooklyn. And, um, you, you know, you pro guys will probably never really know the loyalty um, and just the love I have for my YouTube subscribers. Um, as you can see, my hair is not done. As you can see, I have a hat on my head. Um, I was not planning on doing a video today. As a matter of fact, I've been fighting with a flu. When things drop in my spirit, sometimes I find it necessary to just share it with you right away. I hope that's okay with you guys. So, let me hurry up and get to my point. I realize that folks always look at drug addicts. Uh, specifically from the point of view of them taking... Oh, that's my mom walking in. Mom, you know you're going to be in my video, right? And you're going to be chewing food in my video. <laughs> Wait, let me... I know we did. Why? Okay, hi. <laughs> my mother just came in here, so I had to stop what I was saying. She is so cute. Usually folks think of a drug addict as someone who has been dealing with a specific type of drug. Duh. They've either been on some type of drug, you know, whether it be crack, cocaine, heroin, you know, meth. Um, you get what I'm saying, drugs. And... So, there's all kinds of help for them. And, you know, they go to AA or NA or what have you, and they get the help. They even have a show called Intervention, blah, blah, blah. You guys see where I'm going with this. But while I was in that shower, honey, with my little handheld shower, just showering myself down, feeling real good, and I have a shower chair. Yes, I do. I am not ashamed to admit it. With my health, I have a shower chair. So, yes, honey, I sit in my shower chair with my handheld shower. And I just be in there just shower down. Okay, TMI, too much information. But what I was thinking while I was in the shower is a lot of people get on what I want to call emotional crack or emotional drugs. Sometimes, when you're in an emotional situation, let's just use a relationship, for, some, for example, and you just meet someone for the first time, you get so high, it's like this high, you know, it's like this high, and you feel so good, and you're riding on this high, woo, it feels good, sort of like when a drug addict takes that, first, that drug for the first time, and they're always chasing that high. Well, I feel when people get into relationships, especially brand new relationships, you meet someone new... It's exciting, you're happy, you want to jump through hoops, you want to do backflips, front flips, side flips. And then three months rolls around. And then six months roll, rolls around. And you ain't feeling the person. All of a sudden you got arguments, you're starting to see some bipolar tendencies. The person ain't all that they said they would be. You may be feeling like you're giving too much. They may be feeling like you, you know, giving too little. Whatever the case may be, it's a high. And when those three or six months come by, wham, you slam down, you crash, and it's like, whoa, I need some intervention. Emotional drugs. If you notice in my video, um, you know, in the title, it says, you know, I was getting high. And then I have in parentheses, in -he, that's pronounced in -he. In Jamaica, when Jamaican people talk and they're really talking like, you know how we go, uh-huh. And you say, yeah, girl, and that's what happens. You go, uh-huh. Well, Jamaicans go in -he. A lot of Jamaicans go in -he, in -he. So instead of, you know, Oprah has her uh-huh moment, I had my in -he moment. And that's what I'm going to start calling these videos, my in -he moments. All right, so when you see e h e h, e -h you know I had an e h moment, okay? How you doing? And I'm gonna tell you why. Um, I used to have drive by university. What is this on my shirt right here? This is just so not cool. But honey, 
This is the shirt that I'm staying, that I'm hanging around my house with. I'm not going nowhere. Just covering my neck because I rubbed myself down with Vicks. And I don't want my neck exposed. So, yeah. I'm coming to y'all straight from the house. And underneath this scarf, I got my head tie on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And these rings on it is just for the video. Don't want to see my nails, trust me. As soon as I get off this video, I'm popping these earrings out, taking this ring off, pulling this off my head, putting on another shirt, and I'm getting in my bed. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Emotional drugs. Having an emotional high. Getting all high. High off of, high off of the feeling. High off of infatuation. High. And, and, and just going real high. And then when reality sets in, it's like a real low. Wouldn't it be better if we just realized that drugs, whether they be emotional drugs or whether they are actual tangible drugs, drugs, you know, aren't good for you when they're not taken for the proper um, ailment. Okay? Now, I don't think there's a proper ailment for meth or coke, but medical marijuana is around. Um, prescription drugs that a lot of people take are legal for certain things. You guys get where I'm coming from. You guys are pretty intelligent. Y'all know what I'm saying. That's my ehe moment. So, now that I don't do drive-by university anymore, drive time. Did I say drive-by? What's in my mind? Am I really a Brooklyn girl? I said drive-by, okay? How you doing? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant to say, now that I'm not doing drive-time university anymore, I'm going to do my in-hin videos. Um, what many of you that's been following me for a long time know that I used to do um, drive-time university when I was up and about going to work in the mornings, and a lot has changed. If you want to know, if you're new and you don't know what that is, honey, go through them 300 videos, child. Just go through them and you'll see. All right, guys. Peace and love. And think about what I said, you know. And tell me in the description right here in the crutch. Let me know if you've ever been um, an emotional addict. Have you ever been high emotionally have you ever experienced what i'm talking about i love you guys so much that's why i'm on here and when i get off i'm about to be back to what it is what it was my head wrapped up you don't think i'm serious look i'll pop this out right now pop they coming out <laughs> all right guys i love you guys for free okay peace and love Mwah. Yeah! oh guys Follow me on Facebook. What's up? I'll put the link to my Facebook in the description. All right? Peace. Later.